Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on which part of the world you're watching me from. I am Joe, your tech hander man. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to organize your media library. Now, if you have a whole lot of um, photos, for instance, in your media library, and you want to use a particular one, it could be very difficult, I mean, time consuming for you to see through a whole lot of photos before you get to the one you use. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to organize nice to keep things simple and very efficient when you're working with your media library now if you haven't watched from lesson one in this series please do because you cannot actually understand where we are at the moment if you haven't watched from lesson one up to this point now if today is the first time of you watching please subscribe like share the content and of course turn on the notifications so that anytime we upload you'll be the very first to know like I always do say when you grow we grow if you are ready and your system is properly set up, let's do it together. Okay, guys, find your way to the back end, the login page of our um, WordPress. Supply your login details and click login. It will take you to the dashboard. Um, this is the WordPress um, dashboard. So let me just show you what I have in the media library. So go to media and library. Um, this is the number of um, photos. This is the photos that I have in my media library. I think there are 15 items right here. So for us to accomplish this task, we are going to use a particular plugin. So you scroll down to plugin and then go to add new under plugin. Now, when you open it, this is the plugin page. Um, we are going to use this particular plugin to achieve this. It is called cats folders dot WordPress media folders. That is the name cats folders and is published on wordpress.org so you can actually check it out so back to um what we're doing so you just tap in in the search bar cat folders um in your app plugins page now the very first plugin that is the name cat folder just click install for it to install and then you activate it so once done you will see it in listed in your plugins page we're actually using the lights version so we go back to our media library you can see it's actually set up to the left side of the page okay so we are going to see how we can organize this first of let's add some um, some other images um, so you follow the normal process I think we've covered it in some of our videos you can check it out how to upload photos here so i'll just select all these and then um, upload them at once i'll repeat the process three times so i can have duplicates of these um, photos as you can see so if you scroll down you see all of the photos here um well the one i uploaded they are there are at least three um copies except for a few like this particular one that has four so go to new folder on the plugins end and type in the particular name that you want a particular um, number of photos to be in in this case i will i will just type skyscraper i want all and then when you're done you click on save i want all the photos related to skyscraper to be in this particular folder so what do i do i will just um box select okay so uh, like this these are the skyscraper the the photos i'm talking about there are three copies because I actually repeated three. So click on box select. Once that is clicked, pick select the particular photos you want. In this case, skyscrapers. I think I have three. So after selecting, just click on one of the selected, drag it to the folder you created. Like so, you can see the three items are right there. So um, click on cancel, and then um, I'm, I think I'm going to create a few more, a couple more so um so that we can understand so click again on new folder and then in this this case i think i want to organize the yellow um plans the yellow plan so you just i just name this particular folder yellow plant okay to um um to hold these particular photos and click save once you're done so repeat the same process by clicking box select and then pick or select the photos you want to put in this folder all you need to do is just drag one of the photos like so into the folder now um just this is uh, for the purpose of demonstration 
okay you can repeat the entire process again uh, depending on how many folders you want to organize this this might actually be uh, maybe you are doing a word um, a wordpress e-commerce and you want a particular uh, group of products to be in a particular folder the photos you don't can't afford to litter it everywhere in your media library so you can name it accordingly um, that happens and again for different sections of the website if we have different media you can actually organize them so depending on how you want it okay so this is how it is done so i will create the the name of the folders i want um to um to put these particular photos in and then select the photos i want drag it into the folder that is actually how it is done so um i think i will do um the dragging for the other time i did box select for but for this particular one i'm going to do the skin disease folder i'm going to be using another method this is skin disease once done just click save so you have the skin disease so what i will just do instead of box selecting i will pick it individually so i'll just drag the item and drop in the folder i will drag it and drop like so then i will repeat the entire process but this looks boring and imagine having up to 20 30 photos to do so it will take a whole lot of time so that's why the box select option is always um, okay so skin disease you have four photos in there so once done I will just open one of the folders, skyscrapers. You can see all the other photos have disappeared. We only have three in skyscraper, the ones we selected. Ditto, the yellow plant. And if you go to the handshake, the same thing you have. So this is very straightforward. This is clean. This is this takes distraction of you. So you go straight to the photos you want to use and use them right there. So in case you want to create a subfolder on that particular folder, all you need to do is select. But you need a pro license for this plugin to be able to work. So once I click on new folder, you can see the pop-up. Um, I need to go pro before I can actually create subfolders under the other folders. But otherwise, I think we are good. Everything is properly organized and clean so guys that is how you organize your media library easy straightforward using the cats folder plugin thank you for watching so far see you in the next video bye for now